Hello everyone, it is I, Jay from the Game of Shuke. Welcome back to another part of Dragon Quest 8 Journey of the Cursed King. So, our wife is possessed by the Scepter, I guess? I knew the Scepter was evil. Something wrong, something, something wrong there. And, well, that and there's a second voice. A second voice. Like you can hear it. Like how Darmagus kept saying, such a pity. We thought it was just Darmagus, but... Now we're here in such a pity again. Is it the soul of Dormagus or something? No, I don't know. If we come into here... There's a ghoul. Huh. What's this all about? Hello, dude. And welcome to the stream, Mart. 2000 gold. Luan? Wee? Well, I don't have 2,000 gold. What is it? Crash you again sometime. He will sell you something that I honestly can't remember what he sells you, but I think I think it might be worth getting. But yeah, that ghoul only... I think you can only get it once. Um, that ghoul uh, only appears at night. I don't know why, how, he's just there. It's the, when you go in there in the morning, th like there's no one there. It's <laughs> it's kind of weird. So, so yeah, uh, David, right? Here you are, Leopold. Dinner time. I I'll leave it here for you. Sorry? Have I done something to upset you? Please, I'm truly sorry. Oh, oh, it's you. Oh, thanks for what you did before. It's because of you the Master Domenico is safe. Are you on your travels by any chance? I thought so. I could tell. I was travelling around the world myself until about six months ago. Yeah. Huh. It'll be six months ago now. When I got here, I was penniless and so hungry I collapsed. But Master Domenico helped me. He said he'd let me work for him here at this house. I was so grateful. He can be a bit overbearing at times. But in his heart, he's a truly kind man. Really? That's not the kind of, you know, feeling I got from him. But I mean, he he reckons he, when he when when he needed someone the most, he came to his aid and helped him. It's like ah, I need a slave. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, well, yeah. Anyway, um, so we want to do some exploring. Also, um, I can't remember which house specifically, but he does tell you um, we have to speak to uh, the Cram Battle. The cram battle, cram bottle, uh, about the about the, the, the spinels, and I will just say, I will just say we're going to like. Huh, I'm looking at it right now, and looking at this angle, the hero's hands look pink. I don't know if it's going to come up on on the recording, but I'm looking at the hero right now, and he sounds kind of it looks it has kind of pink in that angle. That's odd. Um, I will say. Essentially, what's going to happen is we go to his dungeon, mini dungeon. There's no boss. We're going to do this mini dungeon puzzle thing, right? I need to be told that we don't have they don't have the crown spinels, but he knows where they are, and we've been there before. So it's essentially just you just need to go through this place just to find out. Oh, hey, you've been here. We could have took them ages ago. So really, it's kind of a padding in a way. You know, that's what it is. That's why I'm not like a huge fan of this next place that we're going to. Because it's just kind of like, it's an optional dungeon. It's not anything too special. But it's just kind of like, eh. I mean, I did say it get better. It gets better. And I do think it does from here on out. Uh, you know, this is basically halfway. We're, 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 we're past the halfway point. 
Um, so it's like, yeah. But yeah, in this place that they mentioned, like, they're all sculptures. So you go into their houses and you'll all see different, like, statues and sculptures. It's kind of cool, really. This also looks familiar. I feel like I've set up before. It's the summer issue of a magazine called We Love Our Weapons! Swaldering summer knives provide the perfect environment for resting undead to walk the earth. It's enough to make even an adventurer with a zombie's bane feel insecure. But why worry when you can make yourself a zombie slayer? It's easy, just combine your zombie's bane with a certain holy item in your alchemy pot. Go on and give it a try. Yeah, so that's also something you can do, which I think I might have mentioned, uh, like, you, like, to do it earlier on. Um, which I think... Is that Saint's Ashes? No, it's not Saint's Ashes. I think it is, like, I think it might be Holy Talisman, I think. Um, I think, yeah, I think it's, I think it's uh, Holy Talisman, so I, I'm, I, I, I think so, anyway. I'm fairly certain you can just do it straight away, so that's kind of cool. If you're, if you're into swords, like I said, you could have done that, like, earlier on in Argo, if you wanted. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan, but we, we are going to go and, uh, you know, because there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot, lot of, um, Houses, well, slash, I guess it's kind of like one of those, like, flat apartment buildings, so there's, like, lots of, lots of people, lots of rooms, you know what I mean? I, uh, like, you see doors all connected to these houses, and you're like, they're not very big, but when you go inside, they're a lot, they're a lot larger than you think, um, you know. Think jewelry needs to be practical as well as pretty? You aren't alone. Take the loaf brace, for example. It's the perfect bracer for, for a discriminating adventurer, such as yourself. Simply equipping it increases the wearer's ability to withstand attacks. You can make your own life bracer by combining a gold bracer with a certain ring in your alchemy pot. Give it a try. Alright. Don't I have one? Or maybe I don't. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Nope, nothing. So yeah, there's actually a lot of, lot of rooms that we can go through. And just go around. Look at all these books. Damn. So really into their books. Maybe it's all about sculpting. Well, clearly not all of them. It's a book entitled Mighty Men. What is a mighty man? Someone who's larger than life? Stronger than strong. Braver than brave. A mighty man boasts both a strong body and a strong mind. If you've got only one, you aren't a mighty man. A mighty armlet is just like a mighty man. It's a combination of two types of strength. Ah, mighty armlet. Don't I have one of these as well? <laughs> but you can make one. Don't I have one, or do I not? I think I, I feel like I got one. Like from the, uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. There it is, that's the mighty armlet. But yeah, you can make one. Uh, might even be worth it because, like I say, I'm pretty certain mighty armlet can also be used in alchemy, I think. Uh, to you know, make something better, which you may do at some point. Because remember, a lot of these items, well, some of these items you can only make via alchemy, um, but there is a good chunk of items that you can buy eventually. But it's more like, okay, if you can get it earlier, you can like get a powerful weapon a lot earlier, it could be very helpful for you. Um, it might take a bit of a challenge away, I suppose, or, you know, having armor earlier or whatnot. Uh, or it might just be cheaper in the long run if you can get the recipe going uh, It might take take a lot more effort, but if you don't want to grind or spend a lot of money uh, Then you know fighting gold golems or whatever the like then you can just You know it's 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 not always cheaper though. It's not always cheaper But there there is a good chunk of stuff that is clearly like a lot cheaper of course, of course if you never played this game you won't know um, but uh, I guess that's why we have the power of, power of the internet now, <laughs> nowadays anyway. So you can kind of like look stuff up and whatnot. It's a diary of an old man. In my youth, I was madly in love with a nun, and golly, was she good with her hands? Excuse me. I feel like this is about to become non-PG. I refer, of course, to alchemy. Oh, oh okay. I vividly recall the day she combined a flowering dress with a magical skirt to create a holy garment. Incredible! It's been years since I've seen her. I wonder how she's doing these days. 
For some reason, I've been thinking about her again. What a sexy sister. Whoa, calm it down there, Master Roshi. Jade, Jade discovers a new recipe for the Octopod. Holy clothes equals flowering dress plus magical skirt. Yeah, so so that's the thing. Although I don't think we have a flowering dress. I think you have to make a flowering dress. Um, so, yeah. You can probably guess who that's for. It's a big entitled myth mystical bird. Mythical. Sorry, mythical birds. Thanks to the word, you know, speaking of mythical birds, there was that Imperia bird on on the on that uh on that like uh that wall on the wall, dip, 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 painted on the wall, and they said that apparently it was some sort of god bird. What's that all about? Thanks to the hard work of various scholars, a great many myths and legends about birds have been collected over the years. Like what? Perhaps most fascinating is the one about a bird that flies not just through the air, but from world to world. What? That's pretty cool. A bird that dimension hops? According to the legend, the, myth the mystical bird appears whenever the world faces a crisis to help restore peace. Ah, okay. Interesting. Maybe it's related. Maybe it's related to uh, Imperia. That we don't really know anything about Imperia, just apparently uh, this so-called rat form dude does not like him. Hello there. I'm not disturbing you, am I? I used to be a rather important minister in a certain kingdom which shall remain anonymous. Is that right? <laughs> but I decided I'd like to become a stone worker when I retired. I'm hard at it every day. You've got to keep chip chipping away. I mean, same with me, YouTube man. Like, I've been doing this for a long time and... I feel like if I stop, I r that that really is basically giving up, giving up on the channel. I, got, I just got to keep going, keep going, keep pushing, hoping that someone will think this is an amazing video, and boom, um, explosion, <laughs> boom, my room exploded. I don't. <laughs> what did you think I was talking about? Whoa. Why are these statues? I also like the fact that these actually are statues based on an actual enemy monster. Um, which I think in the next area we will fight. <laughs> yeah, living statues that we fight. So, yeah, mini medal. Give me all the mini medals so I can go to Princess Mini and she can give me prizes for my hard work as a mini medalist. What's in here? Nothing. Aww. All this sculpture's hard at work. I see. Oh, hello, more pots. Ah, I think I remember seeing these statues uh, in the uh, Swordsman's Labyrinth. Yeah. So they they created them? Hmm. Interesting. So many sculptures. So many talented sculptures here, man. This is literally the town of sculptures. Ooh, another dragon scale. We could technically make a dragon whip for, for when Jessica comes back. Um, oh, hello, dude. Whoa, that's a lot of... A lot of stacks of stuff here. Also, treasure chest. You won't mind if I first take what's in your treasure chest. A giant mallet. Okay. That's probably his mallet he was using. I'm sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> what have we got in here? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, L, P. It appears to have been written by a child practicing the alphabet. Man, it's been a long time since I've said that. Jesus. The Alphabet! I think we picked up the wrong book. It's a pick entitled The Dragon Graveyard. Huh. Scholars have long known that there is an ancient dragon graveyard located deep within the desert. Some say the dragons go there to meet their maker because of its remoteness and quietness. But there is another theory as well. Legend has it that long, long ago, an army of dragons fought the Lord of Darkness on that very spot. The Lord of Darkness. Is that that rat form dude that we heard about? So apparently some dragons went to fight this Lord of Darkness. The dragons were wiped out, ah oh, damn, and their fallen bodies formed the foundation of what we know as the Dragon Graveyard. Damn, that's some story, I kind of like that. And yeah, remember I mentioned about those, there's a graveyard where that zombie dragon was? Yeah, that's it. Won't be going there yet, but yeah. Interesting. So there's some dragons fighting this Lord of Darkness. Huh, I like dragons, wish I could have seen it. It's a book entitled Songs and Ballads of the World. It seems to contain the lyrics to the Arcanian an Anthem. Arcadia, 
Arcadia, stone carving is our lives. Our hammers are like husbands, our chisels are like wives. Take our stones away from us, and we break out in hives. Cut, chip, whack, smash, crunk, crack, crash. Oi. There's... oh. They're the sounds that we're always made here in Arcadia, Arcadia, Arcadia. I don't fucking know how that goes, sorry. <laughs> I broke the rule, I shouldn't swear. Uh, not really a rule, but... Jesus. I guess I shouldn't mind too much. I mean, people... I, I know people, popular are people that still swear in their videos, and... It's whatever, if YouTube's gonna take it down, I suppose, but... I don't want to just swear for the sake of swearing, though. <laughs> you know? I only, I only swear if I'm, like, annoyed or something. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, I was kind of sort of annoyed, I was like... <laughs> it's, it's, it's whatever. It's whatever. It's what people like it when people swear anyway. But it's not child friendly, I get it. I mean, this never really was child friendly when it was grown men playing video games. Nothing particularly interesting. Don't mind me, have your dinner or whatever you're doing. Never dress. I just took your, your wife's dress, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll make you a better one, how about that? In alchemy. Oh, this must be, oh, I'm sorry. I'll let your daughter sleep. Carrying on. <laughs> Carrying, I actually can't remember what um, what's in the weapon and armory. So we'll we'll, we'll go there um, when it's in the day, because it shouldn't be open now. It's that night. Although, like I said, there is one place that we're going to after this whole thing with Jessica. After we hopefully sort her out, um, there is another area we go to, um, and in that place, uh, there is a store that is actually just straight up open. Um, oh, this is the bar. Got it. Huh. The nun. The nun is playing on the piano. Nice. What's up, girl? This is the only piano in the whole town, so sometimes I ask if I can play it. There is a pipe organ in the church, but nothing compares to a good bit of boogie-woogie piano. You're right. Pianos are great. I, I, I mean, I have a keyboard. It's the closest thing. Also, is it me? But that angle, that angle. Although I always feel like she's standing like that, but I don't know. That angle just seemed a little like, wait, is she bending over slightly? Because that sort of looks like that outfit's a little too short, girl. I don't know. Hi, come and relax. You owe yourself a bit of me time. All brave heroes do. Oh, oh, I see. I mean, yeah, if you're talking about me, but if you're talking about you, I mean, I'm okay with that as well. I ne you know what? It's fine. I have Jessica. I'll kiss her back. We'll be good. We'll be good. Okay? I will not be tempted. It is fine. I will save my waifu. In case I don't, um, I'll be back. <laughs> Maybe. Although I'm sure they'd be all flocking around Mr. Hercule. Skinny Hercule. Oh, I like that. I like that, uh... That, like, flame and, like, a little, like, a lamp bottle thing. Glass, glass, glass thing. I like that. It's nice. Ah. Huh. It's like someone's diary. I probably can't read it, though, can I? No. That's no fun. What have we got in here? It's a book entitled Aero Aeromancy? Magic of the Air. When a hat that that's as light as a feather, like the feathered cap maybe, is imbued with the power of the wind. A special hat is the result. Specifically the Herm's hat. Huh. It has the ability to transport its wearer and friends to remote locations. Oh, you mean like Zoom? Maybe that's what you mean. Hmm. A lightweight hat. I think it is the feathered cap. I'm not sure. It might be a, a, a Kimaria wing. I actually can't remember this recipe. So we'll see. I don't think I use it. That's probably why. I don't feel like I find it too useful. It's a big entitled The Dark Mass. The uh, alkalites of the Lord of Darkness adorn themselves with dark robes for the Dark Mass. Huh. We're starting, starting to hear a lot more about this Lord of Darkness popping in. 
If you consider yourself a true follower of the Lord of Darkness, you owe it to yourself to make one of these robes. Well, how do I make one? First, you must find a certain magic garment. Mix it with Devil's Tail and Wing of Bat. I might have a Wing of Bat. I, I only had one Devil's Tail, I'm afraid. To dye it appropriately black. Let your alchemy pot simmer, and before long, you'll have your very own dark robe. I guess we're not getting edgy today, I'm afraid. We don't have a Devil's Tail. I can't even remember if we get another one. Uh, yeah. Oh, a free poison moth, no. Not sure, actually. Um, I, I don't even know if you can buy it, but you can probably get it in a drop. I can't remember, actually. I'm trying to think. I, mean, I want to say no, to be honest. But I, I could easily be wrong. I could easily be wrong. I can't remember every little treasure that we get along the way. That's why I, I, I look up a guide to remind myself where everything is and stuff. Armor planning. If you happen to obtain a suit of silver mail, don't waste time equipping it. Put it in the alchemy pot. You can make a dancer's mail. I remember that. Ditto for magic armor. Don't dilly dally wearing it. Toss it in the alchemy pod. You can make a suit of spiked armor out of it. Oh, I think I remember that as well. The alchemy pod isn't just about making items. It's about saving money. You're absolutely right. Remember, a fiscally responsible adventurer is a smart adventurer. That is absolutely right. Dancer mail equals a silver's mail. That's also something I think you could do. Um, a silver mail you can get from Pick'em Casino. I think that might be the only way. Or you might be able to pick one up. I can't remember. Did I? I feel like I've got one. I don't know. Or let's like, see, so you might be able to find one in the treasure chest. So I feel like you get one for free, but I could be wrong. Um, but you can get 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 them from Pick a Casino, I believe. They do sell them. So if you you, you really want to get one, you can. And uh, spiked armor. Hmm. I feel like I remember it, but I feel like I don't. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. If it's useful, I'll definitely look into it. I might just do it anyway. Um, because like I say, just armor and just going through all the alchemy stuff. Just to show you guys. So we'll see. But for now, we're going to take a break from alchemy. I might look into it maybe another time. But yeah, this obviously this area opens up much more alchemy stuff. So did we go in this door? Went in the other one, I believe. Oh, my throat's getting really dry. And sore. I don't think I've got any more. I've got like drink with me, but I don't think I've got any more. I need to get some more. I'll have to do it after the recording. I know we haven't been here. I'm, I'm pretty certain we haven't. So, what we got in uh, this book? So many books. It's a book entitled The Dark Temptation. Ooh, tell me more. The Temptation of the Dark Side can be a terrible thing, right, Anakin? Drawing the Dark Side. Or in, or in this case, isn't it um, Kylo Ren? Yeah. Even the most devout monk can succumb to it. But that's no good. It appears that Devil's Tail and Wing of Bat have the same effect on holy weapons. You're right. Temptation is a dangerous thing indeed. Jay discovers a new recipe. Holy weapon plus Devil's Tail plus a Wing of Bat. Isn't that the Demon Spear that I made? No, that's the Battle Fork, isn't it? Yeah, no, never mind. But yeah, you, you could do the opposite. You know how like Saint's Ashes and some other holy items will like turn something like, you know, that's cursed, a cursed item essentially into something good? You can do the reverse. And yeah. But you know, it doesn't mean that the item's going to be cursed. Like, this isn't cursed. You know, this isn't actually cursed. So yeah, sort of depends really what the effects are, what you want. What's better? I mean... If it's better than the, ho than the holy weapon, then why not? As long as it doesn't curse you. There we go. Although, of course, it doesn't affect the hero. Because, you know, we all know he's immune to curses. We don't know why, he just is. There's someone here. Hmm. Don't think I went down here, though. Ah, maybe they're in here. 